Welcome to my back garden on a windy but ridiculously warm October afternoon and I'm just having some uh, new solar panels put on the house and I thought it'd be a chance to go up and show you what it involves on the roof while we have the scaffolding here. So let's go and take a look at the new solar panels. So it's a bit of a trek to get up here and later on I'll show you some of the details. Ooh, it's quite a long way down but here we are beautiful solar panels okay now we're up here let's just take a look around whoa it's kind of nice you can see why getting the panels up high makes such a difference we're getting, escaping all the shadows of the houses all the shadows of the neighboring buildings and here we go oh there are the panels exposed to the sun so so the first thing i hope you can see about these panels is they are absolutely massive uh, 1.7 meters by about 1.15 meters uh, they weigh quite a bit and that's why you need scaffolding there's no way to manhandle these things up here without the the safe it's no, no way to do it safely without scaffolding they're absolutely massive that we've got five of them here uh, there i think they're 390 watts nominal peak generation so that's bigger than the ones we've got on the other uh, sides of the roof uh, these ones are facing east so i'm filming this just after midday and uh, the sun is over there and uh, the best generation from these at this time of year is already gone uh, these, these are facing actually slightly to the north of east uh, but in the summer and uh, spring and autumn they'll they'll get they'll generate a decent uh, amount i've also got some uh, panels on the flat roof down below which i'll show you in a moment so taking a look at it uh, if you look at each panel you can subtly see that the panels are divided in two uh, from a distance they look black but when you get close up you see they've got a division in two on the middle and they fill each one is filled with an individual solar cell so you can see each cell each cell is divided in two along here and it's basically two solar panels in one and the reason they've adopted this design is to help with shading if this panel if this part of the panel gets shaded the other part isn't affected at all and that uh, helps with uh, uh, helps with getting good generation in difficult conditions when we zoom in you'll see that the whole surface is covered by a tiny array of uh, uh, aluminium wires uh, at a distance the panels just look black but when you get close up you can see the aluminium wires on the top of the silicon and these are the wires that collect the electrons that are freed by the, uh, the sunlight. And there's one or two more features I'd like to show you. So if we come down here and look behind, we can see, well, first of all, we can see the pigeon netting, which is important. Uh, but if we look underneath, we can see how it's held together. So there's a long rail that runs along the roof, and that's held onto brackets that slip under the tiles and they're padded against a little rubber rubber tile replacement and those those brackets are screwed into the rafters so this is very firmly attached to the roof as it needs to be in a windy day like today because panels as big as this are like sails they would really catch the wind so that's the solar panels on the main roof we've got five here now we could fit one or two maybe even three more up at the top but uh, we think it looks ugly we think it's nice just to have a line it's not so uh, uh, it just just looks better so that's what we, we've opted for uh, 
your view may differ, but we have put some on the flat roof down below. Let me show you. So now we're looking at the three solar panels on the flat roof, and you can see they're held onto the roof quite differently. They've got a long, uh, a long rail along the bottom, uh, and then uh, small aluminium features here which lift them up off the, uh, off the roof. Now this railing isn't screwed into the roof at all to prevent the opportunity for uh, water leaks. So instead, if you look carefully just here and here, there, at each place there are two long concrete lintels uh, that are just weighing the entire thing down.